There's a new A10 Mini in town. You're joking. Not another one? Yep, Blackmagic have just announced the A10 Mini Pro ISO, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through all of its new recording features and why they make it one of Blackmagic's most powerful production switches yet. <laughs> The A10 Mini Pro ISO is all about recording. It's exactly the same physically as the A10 Mini Pro. There's no new buttons or new ports, and it's got all the features that were in the original A10 Mini Pro. But the ISO also has five individual recorders built in. And this means not only can you record your program output to disk, but also you can simultaneously record each one of your HDMI inputs as a H.264 MP4 file, so you've got full quality recordings of all of your inputs and the main output as well. That's a huge feature for if you're wanting to create edits based on your live production. But Blackmagic have taken it even further because as well as recording each of those individual inputs and your program output, they're also recording all of the audio tracks. So you get a WAV file for your HDMI input one audio, two, three, and four. You also get the WAV file for the mic one and the mic two on the A10 Mini Pro. So that means that you can mix your audio in an edit afterwards. So if you had some audio issues, maybe the levels weren't right while you were live, you can go into your editor when you're making your highlights package or when you're wanting to re-edit the, the live stream and adjust those audio levels afterwards. So that's great. And then the big thing, the huge thing, this is such a great move from Blackmagic, is it's also recording everything that you're doing on your ATEM and it's building up a timeline in real time. So as you're cutting from camera one to three or fading from two to four, bringing on graphics or cutting to a still or uh, you know, overlaying a DSK. It's recording all of that and building up a real-time timeline. And so when you hit stop recording, it saves all that to a DaVinci Resolve project. And in there, we will see a timeline of exactly what we did while we were recording. So it will show all the camera angles and it will show all of our cuts, all of our fades. If we brought on the DSK, any graphics that we used, all of that will be laid out on a timeline. And what that means is if we made any mistakes while we were recording and, ed and you know, live vision mixing, we can now adjust those mistakes in DaVinci Resolve. So if we cut to someone too early, it's okay. In Resolve, we just uh, adjust where that cut happened. If we placed a fade instead of a cut, we can change that in Resolve. So if your show wasn't perfectly vision mixed and it, you know, it may have gone out live when there was a few mistakes, you can very quickly fix them in uh, DaVinci Resolve now and then upload it to YouTube as a, a piece of VOD content. And that, for me, is huge. That's game changing. There will be broadcasters watching this A10 Mini Pro ISO release now begging for these features in their proper broadcast units. Now, on top of this, if you have Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, whether it be the 6K or the 4K, this gets even more powerful for you. Because remember in Blackmagic's last update, they actually allowed you via the A10 Mini Pro to tick a box that says record on the cameras. And when it does that, it records on the cameras, all time codes synced in Blackmagic RAW. So that would be up to 6K footage if you've got the uh, Blackmagic 6K. With the new update and the ISO, what that's gonna allow you to do is essentially live vision mix a show using the Blackmagic uh, Pro ISO in HD, but then use those Blackmagic RAW files in the DaVinci product, uh, project file that it creates so that you can then master a full Ultra HD version of what you just live vision mix. And of course, because those are Blackmagic RAW files, when you bring them into DaVinci Resolve, you've got all of DaVinci's color grading tools at your fingertips. So especially if you uh, put the cameras into the film profile, you can create some beautiful looking shots. As I've already said, I think this really does open up a world of possibilities and it's such a useful tool that they've added on to the ATEM Mini Pro line with this new ISO unit. Um, I just want to kind of give some examples that came to my head straight away. And the first one that popped in is gamers. 
Gamers are always crying out for a way to record their game footage from their PS4 or their Xbox separately to their face cam footage and have a high resolution recording of their face cam and their game footage and then any overlays or anything like that. To be able to record all of those inputs separately, you just bring them all in via HDMI to the ATEM Mini Pro ISO and then of course you can mix it live but you get all of those recordings separate so that the gamers can then go and create highlights packages um, and slim down versions. And, you know, if while they were live streaming, they had their little picture in picture of their reaction in the edit, it means that they could cut full screen to their reaction because it was a great reaction. So I think for gamers, this is huge. Obviously, for pretty much for interviews, this is massive as well. Um, I think Grant said on the live stream, more and more interviews are getting heated and it's becoming harder and harder for vision mixers to keep up with the conversation. Well, this is amazing, again, for creating highlight clips because where uh, if a director has missed the cut to, to get a reaction from someone or to the start of a sentence on the live stream, you can go back, make, as I say, drag those cuts forward, make those edits and really perfect your, uh, your end piece. So I'm really excited to take a look at the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro ISO. It is out now and the price is $895 and you can rest assured that I'll be getting one on this channel and giving it a full review very soon. So if you're not already, hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss that. Let me know if you are planning to pick one of these up. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. It really does help. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.